You may have noticed during previous examples that sketch geometry can appear in different colors. When I first create geometry, it appears green. This green color simply indicates that something is selected. You can see as I go on to the next piece of geometry that the green color goes away. So besides the green highlight color, the color of newly created geometry is blue. Blue indicates that geometry is underdefined. This geometry can be easily changed by clicking and dragging it. As you begin to add definition to geometry, for instance, if I take this point and drag it to the origin, this creates a coincident geometric relation, and this point and line become black. Black geometry indicates it is fully defined. This particular segment is fully defined because it's pinned to the origin, and it is horizontal. The only thing about it that remains blue, or underdefined, is this endpoint. It can still be moved. If I use a dimension, the point also becomes black and it can no longer be moved. If I place one more dimension, the entire rectangle becomes black, or fully defined. When an entire sketch is fully defined, you'll see this reported here in the status bar. When creating sketches in SOLIDWORKS, you don't have to fully define sketches. This is a nice feature because oftentimes, especially in the early stages of design, you may not know what dimensions you'll be using, but you have a general idea as to the shape, and SOLIDWORKS won't care if you leave sketches underdefined. Having said that, it's generally considered good practice to fully define sketches once you finalize the design, so that when you go to manufacturing, you know that there are no arbitrary values defining your part. The sketch color coding is a very easy way to identify sketches that are or are not fully defined. Let me get rid of one of these dimensions, and I'll exit the sketch. Notice here in the Feature Manager tree that there's a minus sign in front of the listing of the sketch. This is the indicator that the sketch is underdefined. If I right-click and edit the sketch to put in the missing dimension, When I exit, you can see that the minus sign is gone. 